Welcome, Cal Aesthetics fam. My name is Brendan Myers, and today we're gonna to be touching on the controversial topic of how your lats are actually killing your overall gains. Now, before we get into this topic, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. I'm answering questions just like these every single day, so go ahead and ask away. Now, it's right on the screen. So, to this topic, how are your lats actually killing your gains? Now, the reason why I am just in a random park in a, right here as a parking lot, as you can see, I have a tree here, got a tree here, I have a wall over here. It's because this is a simple fix and it's something that you definitely need to incorporate immediately because if you're not going to, you will see a lot more injury and that's obviously not what we want. So, starting off with your latissimus dorsi, right? These big old wings that everyone talks about. We try to get as big as possible. I want the biggest back ever if I'm gonna compete or do it. I understand that, I completely understand that. But when we start focusing on one muscle too much, then we start losing focus on others. And what this does now is overcompensation. And those are the words that we're gonna be really be focusing on today, overcompensating. That's something we do not want. So how do we fix this issue? Well, first, your latissimus dorsi is going to insert on your humerus more towards your anterior side, okay? And what this is going to do is it's going to internally rotate and adduct. That's the main movement or actions of the latissimus dorsi. So what can you do to stop being in this position all the time so that you can start walking upright, keeping a neutral spine and making sure that all muscles are working around it? Well, I'm gonna give you an exercise in just one second, but first I wanna mention one other thing. Not only do you want really big lats, right? But you also want to have a, the biggest chest ever. You wanna have veins all over, you wanna be lean, you wanna have shredded abs, and you want big back. But what does this cause? Well, guess what? Your chest is also going to internally rotate because it's pulling. Think about every movement that you do, you're always moving towards the center of your body. Even if you push right here, you're not pushing back, right? You're not doing that. You're gonna push forward here. This means that it's going to internally rotate here. Your lat is gonna be pulling here, internally rotating. So this is going to cause a lot of issues for your posterior delts and all your rotator cuff muscles on the posterior side. So to separate away from any overcompensation and separate from any type of injuries and to really see the most results possible throughout your whole body, we're gonna focus on those middle to lower traps. And what your middle to lower traps and your rhombards are going to do, it's going to retract, retract and pull those scaps back down into place. So rather than being internally rotated, thinking you're like a big bodybuilder just walking around and not training correctly, you want to be opening up that chest, staying in a neutral position with that chin tucked and that those shoulder blades or your scaps retracted. So the way we work on this is very, very simple. I want you to find a tree. I want you to find a wall, anything that you can sit completely straight back on and make sure that you're not moving forward and your butt is on the back of it as well, okay? So this is pretty straight. Actually very, very good for us to be able to work on. So I'm just gonna put my mic right here. You're gonna go into crisscross applesauce. You guys know what that is, right? I think I learned that in kindergarten. <laughs> So crisscross applesauce, and what we're really gonna be focusing on, and if this is too hard for you to do, it's fine. Just go ahead and straighten out your legs here. What we're gonna do is make sure that our back is on the tree. Now this is moving a little bit further out, so it's a little bit harder for me to do, but I could still get to almost exactly in that position. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm really, really straight with my spine, right? We don't want to affect it where we're moving too much forward and we're flexing at our spine at all. We want to stay in a neutral position, keeping that chin back and pushing everything against the wall, okay? Now from this position, what we're gonna focus on is our arms. We're gonna put our arms to the side and at first, we're gonna supinate them, which means open them up here. I'm gonna externally rotate at that shoulder joint. So here, keeping that chest up, and we are going to tighten up as much as we can, keeping our scaps not up here in upward rotation and elevated, but rather depressed and retracted. So watch again, rather than being here the whole time, we wanna keep it down and back in and retracting so it's a big, big chest. So as we're coming up, keep them down here, squeeze, 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 squeeze those abs in, making sure everything's tight, and you will be feeling this like crazy in those lower to mid traps and also your rhomboids one more time. This is gonna be supinated, this is gonna be a lot easier, a lot more for beginners, 
raising that chest, keeping everything down and retracted. You could also use like a five pound weight, two, two and a half pound weight, absolutely brutal. Now, to make it even harder, what you're going to do is you're going to internally rotate here as much as you can, internally rotate big chest again, retracting those scaps as you do this. Now you're gonna come up and keep it internally rotated until you reach all the way over and already this is just destroying my lower to mid back. Now you can also keep it on the wall all the way up. That will even help more and concentrate on those muscles 10 times more. So make sure, again, you're retracted and depressed, not up trying to reach for the sky and your, your chin's all the way out, rather retracted, up over your head and right back down one more time here and up and down. Okay, so make sure you're following this exercise precisely Generally, I would tell you to do three sets of 10 repetitions, rest about 20 to 30 seconds in between, and do it two to three times per day, four times per week, or even five times per week. Really strengthen up those muscles. You can also focus on different things in the gym, like just making sure that you're retracted and depressed throughout all of your movements and pull towards your body, but rather towards your chest, pull more towards your hips. This is gonna help you really focus on that mid to lower back. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the information I provided to you. Follow the things and the tips and all of the tutorials and exercises that I'm providing to you so that you can make your decisions on how to make your training better and get to the body that you want as soon and as quickly as possible. Oh, and as efficiently as possible. That's the word I want you to use. So hopefully you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and also my vlog channel. It's right up here on the screen and also in the description. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you Calisthenics fam next time.